What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Keith, and I'm back with another reaction video. Man, today we got Pav, Pat Bev, Patrick Beverly, um, full government, uh, speaks on the infamous uh, ESPN interview. If you don't know, bruh, he asked one of the reporters what she subscribed to his podcast. And she wasn't, so he wouldn't let her interview him or wouldn't let her get none of Hey, man, please step out the side of the circle. I don't blame him. Make her pay the fee. If you ain't supporting, I can't help you. Straight up, man. Times is rough now. Stuff is expensive, bro. You got to pay the bills too, shawty. Even though basketball pays the bills, but still. Side hustle bills, you feel me? But, um... Yeah, like, comment, subscribe before I start the video, man. Turn on them post notifications so you can see when that boy Keith posts these wonderful videos, man. These wonderful, insightful videos, man. Let's get into it, though. Hey, do what I told you before it get ugly, before I slam you on your neck. You feel me? Before it get, before it get violent in this joint. You dig? Let's get into yeah, it. We, we subscribe to the pod, so that's yeah. not great. Yeah, I gotta talk to we gotta talk about that. Like for a lot of years, right? Before uh before players knew they had a, a outlet, right? It was only a couple guys that you know and most of those guys are the superstars. So superstars come on, we give the superstars everything. But now guys have outlets uh to kind of control their own narrative. Right. A lot of big, you know, media companies for a long time, you say something, they take, they put it on theirs, they get a ton of following from it. I say something, Draymond says something, they get a ton of following for it, you know. For my pod, right, I wear my pod on my sleeve. I actually, my pod is my name, you know, so like I, it carries everywhere I go. And it's no disrespect to anybody with color, anybody with, or gender. I understand when it when it comes to me, the me, the Draymonds, the controversial players in the NBA, anything we say do becomes bigger than what it really is. So I want to be able to control my narrative. So I go right. around the whole, I don't know, year and seven months since I've had my pod, I, I meet guys, Joshua, he's with the Athletica. Hey man, before we do this interview, you subscribe to my pod because y'all be taking what I'm saying, y'all be taking out of complex, y'all be putting it places and getting all this press from it. And then I'm sitting back looking like, damn, y'all ain't even showing... Hey, what he's saying is facts, though, bro. At least, like, when stuff happens in a game, if you have your own podcast, your own media outlet, you can talk about it, give the fans what really happened, your opinion, all that. Instead of somebody making up an opinion for you, bro. Because some of these media joints, they'll just jazz it. They jazzing it to the max, bro. They just putting words in your mouth like, oh, he did it because of this and blah, 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 blah. And you might not even did it because of that. So you get to speak on your actions. You get to tell what was going through your head, what, why you did what you did type of thing, bro. Now players can speak up, bro, and get their voice out versus somebody making up a story about something that may not be true, bro. I know love. Y'all ain't even mentioning the pod. You know what I'm saying? So like, Facts. what's up with that? So actually, you know. After the game, when the young lady uh, greeted me from ESPN, it was blown over from a, a situation of, nah, that one, they taking it, not not how I'm saying it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not saying it that way. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Everyone has a brand. Everyone has a a, 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 a media company who they work for. Facts. Show us love. Sit. Show us love. Don't don't take what I do, how I do it, put it on your media company. Don't show love. Just all, only paint the narrative bad. Paying all good, you know, so. How do you all think he should have handled that? You think he handled that situation right? Or do you think that he handled it looking up for the answer like it's up there? <laughs> are we talking about the whole, are we talking about the ball throw? No, we'll get, I think okay. we should get to that. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but, to you about but, but specifically with the, the reporter, because I think that there are some players that even had, you know, took umbrage with it. But, but my thing is, 
it wasn't just her from what I understand. Like, you asked everybody that question. No, no, I asked every... So, everybody. So, so that's <laughs> what I mean. So, therefore... From every, from every team. Lakers, so just have to Chicago, be Philly. So just have, I think, given the so, magnitude of the situation that happened Yeah, so it was, it was like a domino effect. It was one, then the one was right after. So, that's yeah. why people make it a bigger deal. Yeah. Like, so, then I... I didn't I, give a fuck so, if you said it. So, you know me. I, I, well, I land. I'm pissed off. Fuck, I don't want to see no media. I'm obviously, because of the law. I'm like, what the fuck? I get on like four o'clock in the morning, can't sleep. Uh, they going off about the interview. Uh, what the fuck? It's five o'clock in the morning, Milwaukee. Hey man, hey find this lady number, please. Like find her number, ASAP. Like I call her. <laughs> Hello, dear, this is Pat. Um, I hope I, I'm 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 getting a lot right now. I know you, I know you probably getting a lot right now. <clears throat> you know that's not my intention. That's not my. I've never tried to disrespect you. She, oh, I knew Pat, but I know Pat, but you know how the internet is, and this, this, that, that, that. And it was squash, you know? So, that was that. Rashad, what do you think? And that's all it is, man. You want to interview me, you want to get your your media brand or whatever it's called, is getting all this publicity, all this following off of me, bro. I got to market myself first. Don't let nobody else monetize you. You got to monetize yourself. Monetize your own life. And that's that's with this world going on right now. You got to do that, bro. Especially if you were like a high figure like him, bro. That is a famous person. A lot of people know you. You got to voice your own opinion, man. It ain't no hard feelings, bro. Like I said, he like, I ain't mean, I'm not disrespecting you, but I'm just keeping it real, bro. If you don't follow my podcast, you don't listen to what I actually be saying. You don't. You not. You don't hear where I come from. Um, my point of view on things. Then how could you interview me and just put out this narrative that what you think of what happened or something like that? You don't even give somebody to to tell you the truth type of thing. I don't know, bro. What y'all think about this, bro? Do you think he was wrong for saying subscribe to my, if you ain't subscribed to my podcast, then I ain't really trying to do an interview? Do y'all think he was wrong? I don't think he was wrong, bro. Oh well, pay the fee. It looked bad. Yeah, I like you. I like you. I like you. It looked bad. It just looked bad. Regardless of the intention behind it, it's about how it looked in the moment. But we all sympathize because you just came off a loss. And then the incident prior to that. So it was like a trickle-down effect of one, two, three, right? So you look at the history of the behavior, and then you're like, all right, you know, we all know you got a podcast. We all subscribe, at least. Why didn't no one tell Maryland drivers about this new rule? All right, if you're currently insured, you drive less than... I hope everybody do, because if y'all not subscribed to mine, I wouldn't want to... Subscribe to the Move I Real Podcast. Wanna, I wouldn't want to engage in any more conversations if, if I took the same type of approach, right? Like, all right, man, you ain't subscribed to my pod? Either yeah. one of y'all? Sure, I ain't got shit else to say for the rest of the pod. <laughs> yeah. But then it's, it's like, I'm in the locker room. I got teammates. Like, I got guys, you know, heavy figures. Hey, man, y'all know if y'all... Hey, you got media? Yeah, I'm going to do media. Every time y'all tell me to do media, I'm going to do media. Person behind me. Braun. <laughs> y'all know Pat, what Pat going to say. He going to say subscribe to his pod. Jay Crowder behind him. Mm -hmm. But y'all know Pat ain't doing no interviews that y'all subscribe to his pod, DeMar DeRose. Y'all better subscribe to that man pod. That man ain't gonna do no shit with y'all unless y'all subscribe, you know? But, like you say, that, that, then that, you know? Yeah. That's a, uh, it's a and collective thing. intentions, though, like you said, your intentions wasn't to disrespect. <clears throat> she probably had already signed that off. Like, I know he didn't mean it. it was, yeah. But the way that it looked, yeah. it just looked bad. Well, she don't... It ain't look bad to me. I don't know. I see. I just watched the interview before this. It ain't look bad to me. I mean, if you can come record me and ask me questions, man, you can su subscribe to my podcast. See what I actually think about this stuff in more depth. So you don't just go out and put out some crazy stuff that I didn't say. Like, I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. What do y'all think about this? Should he should he be asking people this? Or is it okay? I think it's cool, bro. Pay the fee. Subscribe, bro. If you ain't subscribed, what do we have to talk about? You don't need to support me. I'm not helping you out if you don't support me. Straight up. Only female? No. 
Oh, so, uh, yeah, that, I, that, that, yeah, that doubles yeah, down on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, what's so funny is um, I would have had, <laughs> I'm just, you know me, I would have had the motherfucking Adidas would have made some shirts, subscribe to the channel, yeah, pass well, it out to all people. You know, I had a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, I'd be making no, marketing no, with I, People don't understand. When I threw my, my birthday party, no, when I threw my birthday party, everybody had to, to get, everybody had to sign all star voting. Scratch off Vince Carter, Gilbert. Mm. Gilbert that, hey, you want to come to the party? And I just, Oh, okay. Now, I, uh, now it makes sense. I, no, that's how, I, that's how I did it. So I, I understand. Like, you want to party? Vote. Vote for me, so it's it's the bit it's, it's, it's a business now. I think a lot of people also took the situation and ran with it as if it was some type of misogynistic thing because it was a woman, mm-hmm. and they're like, well, because Pat did this, like he hates women, and I just want everyone right. to know, like we hated women long before. That. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my bad, y'all. I don't think, and that's that's the sensitivity of this world, bro. They try to make it all like men versus women. Women hate. Oh, women get, come on, bro. That shit didn't have nothing to do with her being a woman. She didn't subscribe to the pod. You get no press, bro. Straight up. That's all it is. And I, I don't blame them, bro. Subscribe or you can't do no interviews. Straight up. I'm not trying to. I'm not making you no money if you ain't helping me make no money. Straight up. I don't blame him. <laughs> you can say that. You can say that. Okay, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's talk about the incident before that. Obviously, uh, throwing the ball at the Pacers fan. You got suspended for four games by the league. You apologized to Juicy for that. There was a report from Sean that something to the effect of a fan said Cancun on three on your pod, which I'm subscribed to. Yeah. You went in depth and said it was a lot more than that. Yeah. So do you agree with the league's punishment? Yeah, 100%. No ask, him, ask him what they said. Yeah, what they say? Uh, he wouldn't get it. He wouldn't tell you. But what? Did they use if you can allude to it now, summertime. Hey, you got a word. Were there any words to start with? You got a word. You got a You got a word. You got a word. You got a You got a You got a word. You got a word. You got a word. You got a word. Any words that start with the letter N? I shouldn't have did it. Okay. I shouldn't have did it. No matter what. The first one or the second one. No matter what they say. No matter. No matter of what they said, how I was said, I'm bigger in that situation. Yeah. Feel me? I got a following. I got bad. His kids just looked up to me. His kids that ain't, ain't even my color that looked up to me. Right? Look to so, I shouldn't have said. Should I say what they said? Because no. I don't even know if I can. Right. No. It's just you whatever. They use the ER. Oh, yeah. You know, see, you know, ER. So, you know, ER. Yeah. I thought yeah. about right. But you see me, I ain't, I ain't caused no stir about it. Yeah. See, I took my ex. I took, hey, yeah. And I really think that was your side. Like, you you right. acknowledge it, address it. And you feel me? Like, I'm apologetic about it. Like, like. I feel like he was. I like wish you would like, 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 I wish you would some like Tyson shit at that time. Said like you should have just left it. Like let them think of what the Cancun on three shit. Right. You should let that be the narrative. Because for for me, what I said was, it looks like a like low hanging fruit for you to say that it was racial. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like for me sitting there, well, as soon as we had the conversation, no, no, we had that conversation. Yeah. I'm cool. They're so, like, Pat, if you tell your truth, yeah. they go, they go say yeah. it because black and white anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it, so it's it just yeah. like, uh, it could have been. Chill, chill, chill. I know you want to. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It it been, I feel like we're just simplified so much if yeah. everyone just yeah. Yeah. But, no one, yeah. but no one cares. But no one cares yeah. at this yeah. point because yeah. of that. Yeah. See, that's the thing. What I think about that, and it's like sometimes, like you say, he said, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, excuse me, y'all. My bad. He said, it's, he shouldn't have did it, right? Sometimes, like, when people disrespect you and, like, racial things for certain people, well, like, for a lot of African Americans, that's a trigger, bro. Because that's, like, the ultimate disrespect. Like, because of what we've been through. Everything I... We didn't go through it, but our people, our ancestors, shit. My grandma went through a lot of stuff. Um, being like one, of, like she was one of the first kids in her county to get transferred, like seg- be desegregated um, and go to a predominantly 
white school, bro. So her and like four other kids or something like that. They were like the first kids in their county in North Carolina to go to a PWI, right? So that had, some of that stuff has scarred her or like she went through a lot of stuff um, that was messed up. Um, yeah, that caused trauma and stuff. So it's like racial stuff, like it's basketball, bro. It's basketball. What I don't understand is people be like, you're that into the the game or you I understand I love basketball, bro. But I'm not gonna disrespect no player. Like, why, bro? You know it's gonna be another season next year, right? Like, it's gonna keep going on. Like, you some of these fans, like, y'all getting so crazy over the game that y'all will disrespect another human or throw something on another human, spit on somebody, like, that's ridiculous, bro. Like, I, I ain't gonna hold you. As a player, I'll be on people's ass, bro. And I'm like, I, I'm being, I'm a humble person. I feel like I can, I'm, can control my temperature, temper, I said temperature, temper, but it's just like, don't play with me, bro. Don't play with me, bro. Like, this is just basketball. Leave it at basketball. You can leave it at basketball. Your shot is broke, blah, blah. But when you start getting into all this other stuff, be this and N-word, then you're doing too much, bro. Just doing too much. Because yeah, right? yeah, right. it happened already, right? Right. That's the thing about it. So that's why we never really... That's why I said, yeah, that's about. why I said, yeah, that's why I said, that's why I said, that's why yeah, he caught the ball, he threw it back. I mean, he threw the fucking bad ball back. No, no, no. <laughs> that's what the fuck he thought that's I was going to do. I hit the wrong one, throw it back, give it back. We emotional nah. kids, right? We play the same, we emotional. Up to. We play with our emotion on our sleeve. Mm-hmm. So I've wanted to do plenty of things like that before, nigga. And I'm like, Kim, you can't fucking do that. I wish you'd had that moment of pat, don't fucking, like. Yeah, oh, right. It's been time where I didn't, I didn't talk Kenyon off the ledge, nigga. Plenty during yeah. the 15 years. Well, after year two, I talk myself off the ledge plenty. Of yeah, 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 yeah. No, after year two, after that three, what's the worst thing you heard? What's the worst thing that? Or I, all of it. Not Greek talk. I couldn't illiterate. You can't read. You so all, all kind of shit, bro. Like n- nigga, this Utah, all, like yeah. and all yeah. of it, bro. Yeah. You do. But the thing is, the way I approach him, he know this for a fact. If they see him on the street. They ain't go say it. They gonna be a fan. Like right? he said, like he got to think. Right. The day of the, the, the same game. At halftime, you know, I go, okay, cool. So see what the fuck going on. Check this box score. Let me see messages. Let me see what my, you know, closest circle, what they talking about. He sent me clip at halftime. Like, damn, bro, what the fuck they on with you? I go close out on the shot. Same game. Nobody ever talked about it. I mean, this is the last time we go talk about this shit. I close out on, on shot. Nate Smith. I think he make it. Mm-hmm. I follow him to a stance. Fan do me like this. <laughs> he said it to me. Like, damn, what the fuck going on? I ain't got time to, you know what I'm saying? It's just a basketball game. You feel me? Like, we could be tedious about everything that went on that day, but ain't nobody got to do that. I was wrong. That shit should have never happened. But, but let me tell you this, though. But let me, like, no, 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 but, but let me you gotta tell you. But you got to know where you at, though, yeah. right? You got to love that shit. If you fall into the stands in Miami, they're not doing that. Mm. You fall into the stands in San Antonio, they're not That's fucking bro. doing that. You're in fucking Indiana, mm. right? When the series got ready to start, it, right? It wasn't like, Indiana. It, it, was, just, it, was, it was a bad couple of fruits. Yeah. The one th- I can't say for no, 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 but oh, still, Every bro. time I walked around Indiana, they show love. There's, there's a picture, this, the pod, they, hey, there's a picture of this old man behind the basket on series doing the motherfucker like this. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's Indiana, trust yeah. me. Yeah. I played in the playoffs. I, 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 I went to school in the state right next to <laughs> Ohio. Trust me. I've been up there bitch, plenty of times. Circle City, class, of all kinds of shit. It's sports. It's, right? it's, but, it's in, but you got to know where you are, right? Mm. You, you should expect, like, if you fall in the in Boston, what you think they're going to do to you? Yeah. They're going to do the same thing they did I, to you then, right? Yeah. I so it's just where you happened. are, right? I played in Boston. That's and and it's the environment. In the playoffs? But it's the environment, the playoff, right? Huh? See, it's the, <laughs> it's the environment, right? <laughs> Leave are, during that time of year, right? You know it's, everything is hype. Mm. That's a hell of a series, though. It was. Hell of a series. Cleveland in the playoffs. It's sports, sports, man. Sports is, they, the, the fans are more competitive than we are, man. Yeah. That's the, the, the ultimate... And that's it. That's the truth. These fans, like, I'm a fan, but I'm not that pressed to do that to nobody, like a grown, another person, a human. They just there to play basketball, bro. Y'all pushing people and throwing stuff. And come on, bro. That's 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 too much, bro. 
I get it. That's part of the game. But still, like, y'all fans, y'all, until somebody put a Ron Artez and run up in the stands and beat the brakes off you, then, bro, we don't want another incident with that. And that's the thing. It's like fans should be held accountable too. Go talk to security. Hey, escort him out of here. And they should be they should be kicked out, bro. For you being racist, disrespecting somebody, like that should be a thing. They should be held just as accountable as an NBA player. Kick their ass out. You got season tickets, void. You're suspended until next season. The thing you gotta understand is the fans wanna see you lose. Dear fan. So no, I love you gotta think like when it comes to league fans, like my pod is built built off the NBA league fans. I got little kids and all that. I'm subscribed to the pod. So like I understand I understand when it comes to the pod. Situation that should never happen. Should never happen. Absolutely. Right? You played overseas, it's worse over there. Yeah. We gotta come in with machine guns. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, your defense, he shouldn't have given you the ball back. <laughs> After he's seen what you did with the defense. I mean, <laughs> you, 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 know, always, saying, you, you always, always find a loophole, though. Like, if somebody, you know, like, think about it. You, if I throw something at you, you try, like, I'll give it back. <laughs> you dumb. <laughs> if you give it right back for me to do it again. <laughs> no, I was Working on that trespass, dude. Thumbs I down. I get Thumbs it. down. I get it. Unfortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate. That reminds me of females Shit. when you cheat on them and then they take you back. And then they say, <laughs> wow. No, 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 no. And then they say, this is going crazy. This is going to make you right. And you cheat again? <laughs> what we going to do? <laughs> That's all we know. <laughs> what are we going to do? You? <laughs> Your bad Gilbert is retarded. Like, <laughs> what does that have to do with anything, bro? Back and it's like, make it right. Do, do what you're supposed to do. I just cheated on you. I just did that. Right? You gonna give me back the keys? I bet. I'm gonna get a gift or something. Right? I'm gonna get a gift. <laughs> and the girl I cheated with you again. Yeah. Wow. You better give me directions. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Right? Something is wrong with Gilbert. Um. Yeah. We, Gilbert always gotta just. <laughs> Your man is on crazy time twenty four seven, bro. But yeah, man. Um, Pat Bev, I get the interview thing, the fan thing, throwing the ball, probably shouldn't have did that, but I don't know. I guess you got to be the bigger person, but every time, sometimes you just might not be in the mood, you had a bad day, I don't know, you never know, man, then your emotions get the best of you, but sometimes you got to control yourself, but at least he's saying it should have never happened, but people are disrespectful, man, stop disrespecting these athletes, bro. That's weird. Like, I get you a fan, but it's not that serious. You're not getting paid from this shit. Nothing. Most of y'all are getting spanked on FanDuel and DraftKings, so you ain't getting no money from it. Like, just, bro, just be a spectator. Be a fan, bro. Stop trying to be tough and stop trying to disrespect people. That's weird, bro. But yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, bro. Consistent game, consistent keys. It's Road to 1K. Y'all know the slogan. Until we get there, then we got to up it. I'm grinding, bro. I might do another video tonight. Just depends. What time is it? Okay. I'm going to do another video tonight. But yeah, uh, I'm about to get out of here, y'all. Let me know what y'all want me to react to next. Comment down below. Comment anything. Um, Y'all be smooth. Peace.